Kaivalya Upanishad English Translation Om May He protect us both together May He nourish us both together May we work conjointly with great energy May our study be vigorous and effective May we not mutually dispute or may we not hate any Om let there be peace in me let there be peace in my environment let there be peace in the forces that act on me verse 1 then ashvalayana approached the lord brahma and said teach o lord the knowledge of brahman the highest always cultivated by the good hidden and by which a wise man drives away instantly all the sins and reaches the purusha higher than the high verse 2 and to him the grand sire that is the brahma said know this by means of faith devotion and meditation not by work nor by progeny nor by wealth but by renunciation some attained immortality verse 3 higher than heaven seated in the cave that shines which the self controlled attain the self controlled who being of pure minds have well ascertained the reality by the knowledge of vedanta and through sanyasa or renunciation in the sphere of brahma at the time of cosmic dissolution they all get liberated from the highest immortality of the manifested universe verse 4 and 5 in a secluded place sitting in an easy posture pure with a neck head and body erect living in the last of the orders of religious life having controlled all the sense saluting his own preceptor with reverence meditating within the lotus of the heart on brahman unattained pure clear and griefless verse 6 who is unthinkable unmanifest of endless forms the good the peaceful immortal the origin of the worlds without beginning middle and end the only one all pervading consciousness and bliss the formless and the wonderful verse 7 meditating on the highest lord allied to uma powerful three-eyed blue-necked and tranquil the holy man reaches him who is the source of all the witness of all and is beyond darkness that is avidya verse 8 he is brahma he is shiva he is indra he is the immutable the supreme the self luminous he alone is vishnu he is prana he is time and fire he is the moon verse 9 he alone is all that was and all that will be the eternal knowing him one transcends death there is no other way to freedom verse 10 seeing the atman in all beings and all beings in the atman one attains the highest brahman not by any other means verse 11 making the atman the lower arani and om the upper arani by the repeated friction of knowledge a wise man burns up the bond verse 
with his self thus deluded by maya or ignorance it is he who identifies himself with the body and does all sorts of things in the waking state it is he the jiva who attains satisfaction through the varied objects of enjoyment such as women food drink etc verse 13 in the dream state the jiva feels pleasure and pain in a sphere of existence created by his own maya or ignorance during the state of profound sleep when everything is dissolved into their causal state he is overpowered by tamas or non manifestation and comes to exist in his form of bliss verse 14 again through his connection with deeds done in previous births that very jiva returns to the dream state or the waking state the being who sports in the three cities namely the states of wakefulness dream and profound sleep from him has sprung up all diversity he is the substratum the bliss the indivisible consciousness in whom the three cities dissolve themselves verse 15 from this spring up prana mind all the organs sky air fire water and the earth that supports all verse 16 that which is the supreme brahman the soul of all the great support of the universe subtler than the subtle and eternal that is thyself and thou art that verse 17 that which manifests the phenomena such as the states of wakefulness dream and profound sleep i am that brahman realizing thus one is liberated from all bonds verse 18 what constitute the enjoyable the enjoyer and the enjoyment in the three abodes different from them all am i the witness the pure consciousness the eternal good verse 19 in me alone is everything born in me does everything rest and in me is everything dissolved i am that brahman the second less verse 20 i am minuter than the minute i am likewise the greatest of all i am the manifold universe i am the ancient one the purusha and the ruler i am the effulgent one and the all good verse 21 without arms and legs am i of unthinkable power i see without eyes and i hear without ears i know all and am different from all none can know me i am always the intelligence verse 22 i alone am taught in the various vedas I am the revealer of the Vedanta or Upanishads and I am also the knower of the Vedas for me there is neither merit nor demerit I suffer no destruction I have no birth nor any self identity with the body and the organs verse 23 24 for me there is neither earth nor water nor fire nor air nor ether 
Thus realizing the Paramatman who lies in the cavity of the heart, who is without parts and without a second, the witness of all, beyond both existence and non-existence, one attains the pure Paramatman itself. Verse 25 He who studies the Shatarudriya is purified as by the fires, is purified from the sin of drinking, purified from the sin of killing a Brahmana, from deeds done knowingly or unawares. Through this he has his refuge in Shiva, the Supreme Self. One who belongs to the highest order of life should repeat this always or once a day. Verse 26 By means of this one attains the knowledge that destroys the ocean of samsara or repeated transmigration. Therefore, knowing thus, one attains the fruit of Kaivalya or liberation. Verily, one attains liberation. Om. May he protect us both together. May he nourish us both together. May we work conjointly with great energy. May our study be vigorous and effective. May we not mutually dispute or may we not hate any. Om. Let there be peace in me. Let there be peace in my environment. Let there be peace in the forces that act upon me. Here ends the Kaivalyopanishad included in the Krishna Yajurveda.